Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is, is Zoom and Nagra mic preamps. Now hopefully you've seen my previous video which looked at the facilities and options on the Zoom. Very quick introduction to the Zoom um, F6 and the Nagra LB and so pointing out I think some surprising advantages um, that the Zoom has. Now um, all that's all very well but what about the mic preamps? The mic preamps being a really key aspect of your investment in a location recorder. Now, the um, uh, helping us today, we have the mighty Shure SM7B, which needs a real kick up the ass from the mic preamp in order to get the best out of it. And possibly the even more mightier, if that's a phrase, slightly hiding behind the, the uh, Shure, is the Austrian Audio OC818 multi-pattern um, large diaphragm uh, condenser microphone. It's a masterpiece of Austrian engineering. So these are the two things that are going to help us out. Now, of course, I mentioned the, um, the Shure needs a lot of gain, and both these devices, I think, have enough gain to do it. But of course, there's more to um, mic preamps than just the numbers you know, how much gain you have. There's the um, je ne sais quoi. And I think I can say that because um, the, the, the Nagra is made in the French-speaking uh, part of um, Switzerland. It's the thing that people refer to as the timbre or the character, um, using words like warmth and presence and brightness and weight and authority to describe changes in the character of the sound. I have to confess, I'm usually on the slightly sceptical side of the difference in sound arguments. I'm not saying there are no differences in sound. It's just that I often feel people um, are prone to hear things that are maybe not as clear um, as they might be on a, on, a, on a very careful listen. However, I did this test last week and uh, when I listened back to the files, I thought, goodness me, that is a difference. There must be, I must have left something in. And sure enough, I checked the um, settings and I'd left um, uh, the, the low cut uh, filter in uh, the Nagra. So here we are. Take two, lovely sunny day. Now turning face onto my mics, now I will get slightly close and I probably will pop. I will certainly be getting some bass tip up if I'm this close. But um, there's, a, there's a set of fans out there who are fans of being close. They're proximity perverts, I think of them. You know, they, they want me to be close. And uh, I understand that. Um, but I don't really want to use, um, even though the Hack and Pop Killer is a great windshield, I'd rather not. I'd rather leave the mics naked. Obviously, the, the Shure comes, so you can take this off, but it comes with that. And I, and I want that really to be the, the situation. So I apologize for any overloading on that front. Um, you, it'll be nice to have a ribbon in the mix, but um, sadly, I don't have uh, a ribbon. I should have um, blagged one for a 4038. Uh, or a PGS, uh, uh, if you're old enough to remember that uh, designation of the Coles, the great Coles mics that the BBC once had so many of. They were the standard issue in uh, radio talk studios. But um, uh, because of their uh, very low output, and we gradually uh, stopped using them. Um, and uh, that was a shame, really, because they, they do sound great. And they're off-axis rejection, you know, their figure of eight pattern is, is really, really good. And their off-axis rejection is... Um, is tremendous. So I'm not going to tell you um, which of the recorders is which. I'm going to let you think about that. And then um, at the end of the, the process, there will be a reveal and maybe those golden-eared among you will have been able to spot um, which is which. So um, hopefully you've had a good chance to listen to the Shure SM7B and the Austrian Audio OC818 in cardioid and um, have had a chance to uh, listen to the two recorders side by side and with your uh, golden ears maybe picked out which is from is it Chizo in uh, in uh, Switzerland I think um, the uh, Nagra used to be made at any rate um, and the, Nag the Nagra gain scale is I'm sure it makes sense in, in Nagra world I'm sure it makes sense in Switzerland and French but um, I, I really can't make head nor tail what, you know, when you turn it down, it goes. Uh, it seems to go. The numbers get bigger. I, I, I don't know what it's measuring. And it's very nice. It's a, it's a sort of instantaneous little box that appears on the screen, but um, I don't know what it means. Uh, anyway, so um, let's uh, just reveal that uh, recorder A has been the Nagra, and recorder B has been the Zoom. Were you able 
to tell them apart? Were your ears acute enough to um, uh, uh, hear the difference? And of course, the very su substantial difference in cost between these two options. So thanks for coming to PPM6 uh, TV. I do hope uh, you've enjoyed your visit. There will be another video in the um, Nagra Zoom series when we look at the advantages of the Nagra. But I have a Loughton mic coming. I'm very excited about that. That's coming tomorrow. So hopefully that will be the next video that we do. Do subscribe. It does help. And come back soon. Bye for now.